Blueface is officially in danger. A new episode of Crazy in Love starring Blueface and Krishan Rock has dropped. I saw on Twitter that apparently the aftermath of Blueface getting hit in the head with a bottle is in this episode. And I was like, oh great, let's watch some more toxic nonsense. This relationship is doomed, it is. Upon Blueface's return from Las Vegas, the production crew arrives at the home 30 minutes after an alleged physical altercation between the couple. Oh God, the cops are there? For what, someone called the cops? Oh, the cops are there because someone complained about them parking on the street. Okay. What the f***? No way. Can you see my head? Can you see what it looks like? Looks crazy, right? But I'm no b so I'm gonna put this paper towel right here. Put my head on. And do what, it, what nuts would do. <laughs> would you? That is not right, bro. She hit this man with a bottle in the head and he's bleeding. What you're gonna do, you're gonna do the f you can sit in the car. Oh, I'm tired. I just got into a fight and I'm tired. Alright, so get your up. Get out! Crazy, you make no sense. You tough, right? I thought you were super hard, super tough. You're acting like a right now. He's like enticing her to get out and keep fighting. That's what I'm seeing. What the fuck? You got whacked in the head with the bottle. You wanted to get out and keep fighting? So get out. What the hell? What? Then come on, show me you're not one. You acting like one right now. You acting like a straight. Bitch. You sit in the car. That's what a life is unfair. You can kiss a bitch, right, and it, and it's just a girl, right? If I kiss a bitch, it's, it's unfair. Yeah. No, it's my door. Why would I shut my door? Cause you said so. You're a. Bitch. I don't do what I say. Do what I say. That's the difference. He said, "Just do what I say." That's the difference. Lufe's wildin'. I don't agree with those morals. That was a little too far. I was a little harsh. Cindy, what the fuck? You call me on my name all the time. Can I ask you a question? As soon as I get to call me a bitch, it's a problem. Can I ask you a question? Leave me alone, babe. I don't want to do this. Guess we'll give her five, shit. Guess we'll wrong? give her five. Bro, you need stitches, Travis. Tell me right now. No That's a big guy. You no fucking stitches. Damn. Damn. This homie's telling him he needs stitches. They drinking Baja Blast in the middle of the day. Taco Bell was a nighttime after midnight snack. Just like you can go out and make out with any you want. And I just had to be like, all right, that's cute. But if I go out and make out with you're going to be like, oh, you're cheating on me. You're doing it. It's a double standard, right? Oh, so he's saying she got caught making out with a girl. So he went out and made out with a girl. Maybe if he told her beforehand, no girls either. Like you can't kiss a girl. And she went out and did it. Then that's bad. But that's definitely not equal. It's opposite sex. And he's going out. <laughs> She's gonna attack me and I'm gonna just defend myself. If I just let her do what she do, she'll run over me all day long. She'll probably be hitting me for no reason. Eventually, I'm just Bro, like, like what? Bro is in danger. He is a dating a goddamn linebacker. He just said if he didn't defend himself that she would just hit him all day long. Why are you still in this relationship? I would never want to be walking on eggshells around my partner like that. That is insane. This is great television. Just absolutely great TV. You still think you got a dick between your legs? <laughs> What are you talking about? You, you still argue? I did not expect that to be the first sentence, bro. I want to talk about it. I want to. We don't have to argue. I want to reflect. We don't have to argue. On what just happened? Okay, we and can why reflect. Happened. Cool. You could call me a, but I can't call you one. When did I call you? A okay, I called you, and you got mad, and you squeezed my hand, and I got mad, and made you. I'm asking you why. Yeah. Why did you call me that? What are we talking about? So you about know not to do it again. That's why. Why wouldn't I? That's called communication. Want me to not tell you what you did wrong? Bro is really begging his own girlfriend to have a, just a normal conversation and talk out their problems. I'm not saying Blueface is completely innocent in this situation, but I'm just saying it doesn't seem like she wants to be productive and try to move on from it and have a real conversation and discuss who was wrong and who was right. Holy shit, is this so toxic, bro? Bro <laughs> looks done. He is so over this shit. I actually kind of feel bad for him right now. I know I know he's not completely innocent, but hey. I feel bad for him right now. Yeah, well, he is. Really oh, he said my head really you hurts. Yeah, I took some time off. You gotta take off your My head hurts. just hurts. Oh, he 100% has a concussion. For sure. Getting whacked in the head. And she's a linebacker. You know what I mean? She got that linebacker strength. I'm trying to focus on my head not hurting. Couple shots. Come on. <laughs> Too. Why is she not getting her teeth fixed, bro? They got buddy. Why is she willingly walking around for years on end without a tooth? She just recommended they drink alcohol when this man might have a concussion. Great girlfriend. Yeah. Oh my God. I might have to blur that, but holy shit. Bro hey. definitely needs stitches. I'm getting the glass out. You can't just rip it Okay, like that. her nipple was just out too. What the f literally nipples out. I'm confused right now. I'm about to go get a vacuum. 
But I ain't want to be that rough. Shit. Tiny, where the vacuum at? This bitch about to vacuum the glass out of his head? Now, how does that make sense? Is that a thing? Doesn't sound very uh sanitary. Vacuums are meant for dirt on the floor. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Bro, he is so over her. He wants her out. This is so sad. I mean, I know he probably made the fight a little bit worse, but... Go if you want me to. No one deserves a bottle over the head, bro. I need to back in your head, though. I got glass on. It's the only way to get it out. She is not about to do this. I know it's so loud, but it was working. I got most of it in. Probably hands down one of the worst ideas I think I've ever seen to vacuum out glass out of someone's head or just, you know, take them to the doctor or urgent care. Oh, he getting up. He getting out of there. Why? Get out of there, blue face. You don't deserve none of this. Oh, hell no. Why are you leaving me like that? Because you just whacked him in the head. He is so over her, bro. Look at him. Why is he even going? Because you whacked him in the head. Is that serious? What? This is so sad. Hey. So awkward. Don't feel good. Bernie needs to go to the hospital. Like, what? This is actually insane. I've never seen anything as toxic as this in my life. Why are you cuddling her, bro? I you know. Regular. Whack, he needs your help, Whack. Get her out the house, Whack. I got a little cut right there. Oh, through. shit. Little cut. Yo, what, well, you didn't get that stitched up? I was talking about staples. I was like, no. Oh, okay. You're getting those staples. Just gave me your word. We didn't lost what? Two million in a hole? Got music something? coming out. What's up, music man? We got the drop, yeah. Music coming out. Yeah, so we, like, that like, shit we cannot that. continue to keep, we trying to dig ourselves, come out of the ditch. I know that's your girl and all that. You got to start putting your kids first because if you allow that to destroy you, and where does that put them? Look at Wack 100 speaking the truth right here. And watch her be all salty. Over. Blue don't like talking that long, so I know the conversation about you. He don't like talking that long but to you. I'm telling you what to do because you're a grown man. You're a young man, but you're a grown man. That's going to land you somewhere that... She um, is not calling him right now. ...that you don't want to be. It ain't going to be good for her or you. So it's like, at some point, y'all got to know each other's limits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, we ain't doing that. This shit not funny now. Nah, yeah. I know, it's not funny. Ooh. We we'll gonna get back in the studio, man. Just right. start managing your time a little better. Don't even tell her where we going, because she'll, no, she'll find her way down there. Like, you gotta focus on us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the label is kind of like, you know, but they, they depending on me to get it right. We gotta give them a hit. We gotta give them a hit. We gotta make you more attractive. Right. And, uh, because right now it seems like not you, but the situation is dangerous. All right. I mean, that's uh, clearly Wack 100 is trying to get him to make more music. I thought they were giving up on music at this point. I thought he didn't care about his music career that much, but Wack 100 is like, we need to give the label another hit because there's too much drama in the blogs and shit. This is a disaster. Get rid of this bitch as soon as possible. She whacked him up the head. I'm surprised they didn't blur the nipple though. That really shocked me. Thought they would save that for OnlyFans or something. Wack 100 seems like the only guy speaking some real sense in the blue face. This relationship needs to end immediately. It's toxic. He needs to focus on his kids, music, and that's it, in my opinion. Because this girl is low-key dangerous. He even said it himself she would keep hitting him if she wanted to. Turn your channel, subscribe for my Twitter and Instagram. Fucking love you guys. Peace out.